Hey there draft fans, it is LB3 back again with another draft profile video. In our last video we took a look at Mississippi State linebacker Willie Gay Jr. So I can't spend more than one video not talking about wide receivers, so it's back to the wide receiver grind this video with Penn State wide receiver KJ Hamler. The small speedster is one of the most divisive players in the 2020 NFL Draft, so I will try and break through the mess and figure out his true value and where he should go in the 2020 NFL Draft. Just like usual, to get started, we will take a look at his athleticism using Player Profiler. And the first thing you'll notice is we don't have any athleticism. Luckily, there's some other things we can use on this page, though. His college dominator, or the percentage of team production he was responsible for, is respectable at 56th percentile. His college yards per reception at 16.1, 71st percentile, is very good, which makes sense since he's such a good deep threat. Then his breakout age is the most impressive of anything, breaking out at 19, which is an elite age, almost 90th percentile. These are all a good start of an analytical profile, and it is too bad that we didn't get full testing as looking at his film, it is very likely that he would have had very good testing. He's a small player, but he has the body potentially put on a little bit more weight and maintain his athleticism in an NFL weight room. Overall, while it's too bad we didn't get his athleticism numbers, his production profile is good and his on-field athleticism is very tempting. Moving on from Handler's athleticism to his strengths and weaknesses, I found that he was a very simple player in terms of looking at it, in terms of strengths and weaknesses. While well, I could use a ton of different ways to say the same thing, like a lot of scattering reports on him, I will say I figured I'd keep things short and compact when talking about him. A man of many words I can be, but I'm not going to break up one strength into many, just hit an arbitrary amount of strengths and weaknesses. With that in mind, let's look at the first strength, and that is that he is an incredibly quick and fast player. Obviously, this is what I was referring to, as this covers a lot of things. But just in general, he is a fast enough player to threaten pretty much any cornerback who doesn't get their hands on him and able to go side to side fast enough to fake out someone. He has a great final gear to generate separation right at the catch point and if used correctly should be a fairly consistent supplier of deep catches in the pros. On this first play that I have it is a prime example of the scheme helping him out and using his talents to their complete ability. He's matched up against a safety and after getting a free release is able to just run by him for the touchdown. On the next play, we are looking at he is able to get a free release from the slot, lined up against Josh Metellus, who isn't the best player, but is, he is very easily able to just sprint by him on the post route for the touchdown. The next strength that we are looking at for Hamler is his decent route running and overall technique. While it is far from perfect, it is decent for a player that has his movement skills, who normally just relies on athleticism to win in college. Hamler flashes some skills in avoiding press and using his eyes and feet to fool defenders for easier catches. It is something that can be improved on, and once improved on, be, would both help his ability to get open and also potentially make it so he could be put outside occasionally. Taking a look at two plays, the first is another angle of the last play we looked at. If you watch closely, you can see the way he steps, and the way he seems to be looking keeps Mattelis from flipping until too late and running, and that helps him be able to run past him easier. The second play is a really simple play where he basically just runs a slant, but by chopping his feet and not selling the route too early, he's able to give the quarterback a nice easy window to throw into. Now we are done with the strengths and we are going to move on to the weaknesses. I kept the same idea of trying to keep it simple for a player that I think is overall a simple evaluation. The first weakness that we are taking a look at encompasses several things like the first strength and it is all the things you expect of such a small receiver. He does not handle physical play well, he does not fight for the ball in the air well, he struggles to catch outside his frame, and as a blocker he is just too small to really stop bigger players. He is also largely stuck in the slot for his entire pro career. Some of this stuff he can continue improving with improved technique and focus, but also some stuff it's just much harder for receivers of Hamler's size to be able to do. The first player is one of many examples of him just whiffing on a block that I saw on the tape, nothing big. The second clip though isn't a perfect example as he is contacted not too long after the ball gets there, but he also just generally struggles to extend for the ball and catch it outside of his frame. If the ball isn't right in the basket of his arms, he just struggles to get it. And this is a great example of that specifically. Actually, in all honesty, he's generally pretty good at finishing when contacted. It's just if it's outside of his frame, he has a hard time reaching and grabbing it. The final strength that we are looking at is his just general lack of interest in fighting for the ball in the air. Obviously, this is something that kind of also goes to the last weakness, as such small receivers generally are the best jump ball receivers. But there are a decent amount of outliers, and even guys who will fight for it, even if they're not the best at getting it. But Hamler is just really bad at fighting for the ball in the air. The play that I have for this is he runs a deep route from the slot, and he does get wide open again, and while throwing the ball would have left him an easy catch, but as is, he has to work his way back to the ball, and he just fails to properly look it in. 
His ball skills are just very questionable, so he needs to be wide open to be relied on to catch the ball, and not even all the time that. Okay, so we are done looking into Hamler's strengths and weaknesses, and I'm not doing comparisons this year, so let's dig in on my final thoughts on Hamler and where he should go in the 2020 NFL Draft. First off, I would like to talk about how I feel about him in regards to my favorite team, the Cincinnati Bengals. As I feel that can help explain my thoughts well, it's a great situation to compare Hamler to. The Bengals already have a slot wide receiver in Tyler Boyd, and while his skill set is very different from Hamler's, I wouldn't want either of them to play outside of the slot. So overall, I don't like Hamler's fit with the Bengals. Hamler, I believe, is locked into the slot in the pros, so if your team already has a good slot receiver, then your team should not take Hamler. On top of that, your team better have a plan for how to deploy him, as if they don't, he'll just not make the kind of impact that he could. All this sounds very negative, I know, but here's where I flip it all the way around. If a team with a, without a slot receiver comes in with a plan on how to deploy him, he has the potential to be a really good complimentary receiver and be a deep touchdown machine generating game-changing plays for his team. Obviously, the question now is how do you value that, and honestly, if my team needed a slot and could use a deep threat, I would be pretty ecstatic about getting a player like Hamler in the second or especially third round, because if he plays like he has shown he can, then he can be a game-changing offensive weapon even if it's not as consistent as you'd like, and even if with his limitations. For anyone who listened and enjoyed, make sure to subscribe as there will be a lot more of these videos coming. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment and I will try to respond to everyone. This video on Hamler was done because he got second place in a poll link in the description of one of my previous videos, and next time I'm doing the third place vote getter, Grant Delpit. I have also included a new poll in the description of this video to find out the next three players I'll be doing videos on. Thank you very much. This has been LB3 Scouting, and there will be a lot more great stuff coming, so make sure you're subscribed.